Our lesson today is estimating and multiplying multi-digit numbers. So we have two learning scales today that we're looking at. Um, first, we're going to be multiplying whole digit numbers um, using strategies and place value. And we'll also be rounding today to place values. So we're going to be using two different skills. So try to keep that in mind. So our learning goals are rounding. I can round multi-digit numbers and also multiplying whole numbers as well using strategies based on place value. So um, please write this down in your notebook. So to estimate to multiply, you need to round first to the largest place value for both numbers. We'll talk about what that means. And then you need to multiply both numbers using the circle and triangle method. And that should be familiar to you already. So we're going to review it as well. So let's try. The first step, remember, is we're going to round. So we're going to round to the largest place value. In this case, it's the hundreds place. So first I'm going to underline the hundreds, circle the place directly to the right. In this case, it's a 10. If it's five or higher, we add one, right? So plus one. So the five will make the four change. So 456 is approximately 500. And then we look here, we have 342. We're going to underline the hundreds place, circle the tens place because that's directly to the right of the hundreds place. The four will make the three stay the same because it's four or lower. So the three stays the same, the rest become zeros. Now we're multiplying here. So we're going to use our circle and triangle strategy. So we're going to circle the basic fact and triangle the zeros. Our basic fact is five times three. We know that five times three is 15. We have one, two, three, four zeros. So at the end of 15, we'll have four zeros. So we have as our final answer um, for our estimating to multiply 150,000. Let's try another one. Here we have four digit numbers. So I am going to round and then multiply. So I'm going to underline the greatest place value. I'm going to circle the place directly to the right. The five will make the seven change because it's five or higher. So the seven will become an eight, and then the five back will become zeros. I will circle the four. The four will make the three stay the same, and the rest become zeros, and we're multiplying. So we're going to use again our circle and triangle strategy. Circle the basic fact and triangle the zeros. Our basic fact is eight times three. Eight times three is 24. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. So we have 24 million here. Let's look at another one. Again, we are going to underline the greatest place value. The five will make the six change. So we add one. So 652 is approximately 700. The three will make the five stay the same. So 532 is approximately 500. We're multiplying. We're going to use the circle and triangle strategy. Basic fact, seven times five. We know that's 35. There's one, two, three, four zeros. So we have 3,500. All right, let's do another one. So underline the greatest place value. We are going to circle the number that is directly to the right. So 326 is approximately 300 because the two doesn't make the three change. 965, we're going to add one because the six is five or higher, so you add one. So this actually becomes a thousand. Now we're going to multiply and use our basic fact strategy. We're going to circle the basic fact and triangle the zero. Three times one is three. So my three goes at the bottom. I have one, two, three, four, five zeros. So 300,000 is our final answer. Here are three problems for you to try tonight. Remember, you're going to estimate um, to solve. So you're going to first round, and then you're going to circle and triangle to find the answer. After you're done, please think about your learning goal and where you are after this lesson. Thank you for your hard work. I will see you tomorrow.